Hi there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology review with two points of view. My name is Ben Friedman. And I'm Tiffany Young. And every Monday, we bring you two unique points of view on some of the latest gadgets, technology, and websites. Don't forget to visit our website at www.neo-fight.tv to subscribe to this podcast. You can also go there to send us email or record a voicemail voice link with our audio voice button using your computer's microphone. This week, we're going to be talking about the Logitech Orbit MP webcam, the Go Prompter, the Canon Pixima IP90 photo printer, and we'll answer some of your questions sent to us via email. But first, let's take a look at some of the news making headlines this week. A scripting flaw in the PayPal website allows a new phishing attack to masquerade as a genuine PayPal login page with a valid security certificate, according to security researchers. Fraudsters are exploiting the flaw to harvest personal details, including PayPal logins, social security numbers, and credit card details. The PayPal site, owned by eBay, allows users to make online payments to one another, charge to their credit cards, and login credentials for the service are a prize target of fraudsters. The attack works by tricking PayPal members into following a maliciously crafted link to a secure page on PayPal's site. Anyone thinking to check the site's security certificate will see that it is a valid 256-bit certificate belonging to the site. Parallels, a startup whose software enables Macs to run Microsoft Windows and the Mac OS at the same time, says it's ready with a final version of its product. Apple Computer made headlines back in April with its software for loading Windows onto Macs. However, Boot Camp permits people to run only one program operating system at a time. Parallel's desktop program, however, uses visualization technology to have Windows programs operate alongside Mac applications. The Windows program opens in a separate window within the Mac OS. Unlike past software, Parallel's desktop does not need to emulate the hardware that's inside a PC because Macs and PC now use their own same Intel-based chip. As a result, the speed of the Parallels is far better than past efforts at bringing together the two operating systems. Next week, the high-definition video fight for consumers' hearts, minds, and wallets begins in the United States. The first player and content for the Blu-ray high-definition movie disc format will be launched, about three months after the first hardware and movies for the rival HD DVD format went on sale. Blu-ray discs and HDVD are both new optical disc formats vying to replace current DVDs for high-definition content such as movies. The main backers of Blu-ray include Sony, Panasonic, and Samsung Electronics, while companies supporting the rival HD DVD format include Toshiba, NEC, and Intel. The launch on June 20th of the Samsung BD P1000 player and eight movies from Sony Pictures Entertainment will signal Blu-ray's disc's entry into the consumer market. eBay is beefing up community building capabilities to include support for blogs and a new wiki for members to share information. The eBay wiki will let anybody post and edit articles on topics of interest to eBay users. Visitors can browse headlines based on categories including eBay policies, seller tools, and specialty sites. Many of the articles posted on the site so far are how-to type of articles that might help users learn how eBay works. Jockspot, a wiki technology and hosting company, powers the eBay wiki. In addition to the wiki, eBay is now also hosting blogs for users. eBay enthusiasts can create blogs that will appear on the website. Bloggers can post photos, allow others to comment on their postings, and enable RSS. Microsoft Chairman and Chief Software Architect Bill Gates said last week that he will step out of his daily role at Microsoft in July of 2008 so he can take on a full-time role at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the charity organization he runs with his wife. To prepare for the move, Microsoft is enacting a plan that includes executive changes in order to make the transition as smooth as possible, Gates said. Gates, at 50, is mainly responsible for giving broad strategic direction to the programmers who build the software at Microsoft. 
Google has added a new online photo sharing feature to Picasa, the free software that lets users organize digital photos on their computer. The new feature is available by invitation only and appears similar to the popular photo sharing website Flickr. Users of Picasa web album can upload photos from the Picasa software program to a web page and create galleries there. A share button lets users email links to individual photos, albums, or galleries to friends. A My Favorites tab allows users to list links to friends' web albums. Interested users must have a Gmail account and sign up to be invited to try the service. Google will offer invitations on a first-come, first-serve basis. 24HourStaff.com's affordable, cutting-edge technology allows you to get customers and deliver truly remarkable customer service 24 hours a day. Our advice is simple. You have 24 hours a day to grow your business. Act like it. Call systems. Messaging. Operator. Faxing. Your own toll-free number. So go 24-7 and use our affordable technology to grow your business. 24HoursStaff.com And welcome back to Neophyte.tv. Uh, in this spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at this lovely little device right here, which uh, is actually the latest uh, marital aid from... Oh, it's not a marital aid. <laughs> Oh my God! The latest, I can't believe uh, you said that. The latest uh, web. Believe it or not, this is a a webcam. It's either a webcam. It's a, it's a barbell say, for hamsters. It's a it's a way it's a way to communicate effectively with your spouse Move when your spouse is at work. Up. That's what he meant to say. <laughs> that, it's marital aid. It's a way to co communicate with your. Well, that's a very that, good that, save. That's how I check it. That's how not, I check it. Not just a pretty yeah, face. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Not even in my case. This is the uh, Logitech Orbit uh, MP webcam. And as you can see, it comes with this neat uh, stick. Stand? <laughs> stand? I don't even know what to call it. The, the, their goal is to try to get it up to like eye level when right. you're sitting at your computer. Although eye level to me would be here, not here. But I guess having, you know, there's only so long you can make this thing. And, right. and uh, uh, But what's very, very neat about this... Right. Uh, a camera is it also is motorized. Now, I don't know. See if we can uh, if I can get. It. I've got it hooked up to my laptop right here, and I'm going to try to get the motor to to go. Take a look at the uh, at the motor on it. To, uh, let's get close up, and, and we'll see if I can make it move here. So you see that? See it moving around here? There it is, moving like left and right, and uh, it's kind of cool to do that. I'm going to turn it around here so you can get an example of what it looks like. I'm going to actually turn it around and face us. And I'm gonna hit record video. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. <laughs> so now we're actually now we're actually recording ourselves, and it's actually a very good picture for for something of this. Uh, Honey, this could size. you pick up some milk, please, on your way home? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Send a message to everyone out there. <laughs> Hi, folks. Welcome to Neophyte.tv. Right now, one thing that there's some problems with this uh, camera. Mm. It is very cool and very neat, um, but one of the issues is that uh, it's kind of only moves in sort of jerky movements. How much is this? It's not cheap. It's like 150, 160 bucks. Okay. Way more expensive than most webcams, but the quality of the picture is is very good. Let me show you again a couple more of the features. It is pretty good. Feel free to just jump in with like, uh, boy, that's the most <laughs> stupidest thing I've ever seen because I know there's a lot. I was of... just holding back. Okay. <laughs> you can turn on what's called face tracking, which is it'll it'll and I'll show you on here. I'm gonna turn on face tracking. Here it is. It's looking pretty much straight at me. Hi, how you going? How you doing? Hi, how's it going? If I move over here, oh look, it's going to move to follow me. Okay, if I move this way, it is supposed to, but there's a big spotlight in the background. Okay, right. I'm not going to dock it points it, for that. It's a bit here jerky. We there we go. It is a bit jerky. Are you calling me a jerk? No. no. <laughs> I said it's jerky. That is the problem. When you get Take to the edge, you when you get no. to the edge, it jerks <laughs> over. It's not a smooth panning motion, which would be, which would be nice. Um, now, what sort of resolution does this have? Do you know? Uh, I think it's 1.3 megapixel. Okay. Uh, is the actual native resolution of the camera. Right. But you don't, you really don't use that if you're doing like MSN Messenger. You can't send pictures of that size. Right. Because uh, it, you know that would take too long. You get too much delay, even no matter how much bandwidth 
well, I guess if you had enough bandwidth, it'd be okay. But really, you use it a smaller resolution. I think I'm using 320 by 240 mm -hmm. here, which is reasonable resolution. What you want in the camera, though, is its ability to deal with you know, cr crummy lighting conditions like we're using right here. Now, let me show you another neat feature of this camera. Uh, I'm going to try to line it up here with myself here. It has a, a little thing. It's called Video Effect Avatars. I'll turn it on here. I'm going to turn on the shark effect here. And okay, here so here's the shark effect. You notice it's actually tracking my head movements, okay? And I look like a shark. And it's it's doing its best to follow my mouth and to follow if I tilt my head back and forth like so, it it actually follows that. That's pretty neat. Here's another effect you can use. This is the uh, I like this stick. One. <laughs> this is the look if I close my eyes, if I wink it actually winks. Um, this is the stick figure effect and it actually does a, a, a reasonable job of trying to match the um, uh, movements uh, to the eye. If you don't want to go uh, with so much of an effect, uh, you can just do things like add a mustache. <laughs> here it's I am you. with the mustache it's on totally me. And it does it you're okay. just missing a cigar. Yeah, that's, here, how about a, a pig nose? <laughs> I'm such a pig. <laughs> uh, I can even just uh, put on glasses if I want to get that uh, serious, intelligent look. Right. Uh, and, and today we'll be talking on NPR radio about. <laughs> So you can do some of these cool effects uh, with the camera. But uh, having said that, uh, back to the big camera. That's right, good. Right, right. Uh, you know, so it does, it has that cool motorizedness, but it's jerky. So now we're actually <laughs> putting ourselves. Shut up! Arr! That's another thing is, yeah, it, it takes a lot of work to get it to where Ben has it now. So, so it's a cool toy. I spent the last four months configuring it to, to get, no, I'm just kidding. I'm like, what? I've been you playing spent... with it. No, but the, I have to tell you, okay, the first time I installed yeah. the software, very buggy, uh, I, I installed yeah. it, went to my device manager, mm -hmm. nothing there. Oh, went yeah, to my program right. files list, nothing there, right. nothing, not just this, not there, nothing there. Completely gone. I, un, I had to do a system restore to get my uh, files back, installed it again. Nothing there in the device manager. I had to do a system restore to get it back. Now, Decided I'm not going to install it on that computer anymore. Yeah, you know, it, it could be Ben's computer. It could be mine. Um, that, you know, it would only be fair to mention that, you know, when we did install his, the problems that we had, not to say that that's it not everybody. It worked okay on this laptop. That, right. And this, is, this one it worked okay on. Right. Not to say that it happens and to everybody's computer. As you can see, computer, it's a but... convenient size for traveling. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, no, actually, let me show you. You don't you think can. that's going to come out of your baggage, you know, you when you try to do it and you carry on. Separate this. like <laughs> They're going to make you mail that back to yourself. <laughs> and this can go right in here. And now you've got it in the mini uh, snowman version. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, the thing I can this, tell how convinced you are. Thing, yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's cool. <laughs> the thing is, it's hard to get to work right. It's just frustrating. It takes all the fun out of it when you can't get it to work right after the first couple tries. So ah, I'm a little yeah. biased. I'm a little biased. But, um, to wrap this uh, overly long segment up, <laughs> I, uh, I... Just talks and talks and talks <laughs> and talks. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's neat and it's good quality, but I don't buy in the motorizedness. I don't know how much you need that. I don't, all those other toys are, are fun, but that's not right. what you're paying, you know, 150 bucks for for this camera. I give it a two out of five. Right, and I'm going to give it a one out of five. I... I know. I, I just don't think it. The frustration level becomes so high um, that it takes all the joy out of out of the actual product when all I do it. All the joy out of using now, a WordCamp. Now, <laughs> now um, if they this product is great, I think that it's, the style is good. I, I like the way that they have that set up on the stand. Um, there's a lot of innovative style in this. I just think that it needs to be refined. Uh, a lot more before they put it out to the general market because someone more savvy like Ben is going to get it faster than someone who's a little less savvy than someone like me and I just don't have the time to mess with it over and over trying to get it to, to work correctly. So one out of five for me and a two out of five for Ben. That's three out of ten for the Logitech Orbit MP camera. Um, three out of ten and we'll be Not right back. Good. Are you looking to step up to the next level of HD video editing? Did you think that real-time HD editing solutions were out of your reach? If so, it's time to take a look at the Matrix Axio LE real-time editing platform, available at a breakthrough price. It features no render, HD and SD finishing in compressed and uncompressed formats, superior real-time color correction tools, advanced real-time effects, and a full complement of analog and digital audio and video inputs and outputs. 
all at a price point that puts it within the reach of any video studio. Find out more today at www.matrox.com forward slash video. Welcome back to Neofight.tv. You know, I was wondering, maybe you can help me with this, why it is that you have people in your life that you know really well and you want to get them on camera, you want to make this really cool, hip, you know, say home video or something, and normally they talk and talk and talk and talk, kind of like someone else I know, but when you get them on camera, when you get them on camera and you say, okay, go ahead and, you know, tell us what, you know, Junior's doing, they... They, they can't even get the words out. I mean, they're totally confused as to what to say, and they just freeze. And sometimes it's tough to, to talk on camera. You yeah. have no problem talking you know, to each other just right. fine. You get us out here, we're you... like, uh, what? <laughs> hi. Can you say something? Uh, <laughs> hi, Mom. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, our next people product. people just run from the camera altogether. You ever seen well, that? This, you have that fleeting relative? Gonna, this, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> it like runs from the camera. You're like, I know she was here. That was that was Aunt Jamie. She was she was at the party. But you can you don't get her. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> go. <laughs> Some people have no problem talking on camera. <laughs> and talking whatsoever. and talking, talking, talk. <laughs> This next product uh, is uh, <laughs> basically designed to help solve this problem of what when your relatives or your amateur videographers right. or anyone you want to take pictures and you want them to actually say something, this will help. It's right. called the Go Prompter. We have a solution. Yes, and here we have it <laughs> mounted to a uh, one of our video cameras. It's this guy here. And basically, what it is is it's just a flexible uh, a flexible piece of uh, rod here that is attached to the uh, flash shoe. Most cameras have a flash right. shoe, so you can just slide it right in there. And then it has a clip on here, which holds. It'll come with a neat clipboard. Right. And this was fifty bucks. So, and you can attach this to your regular camcorders and the little Any flashlight. Any camcorder, yeah. So this looks like a big, you know, a big professional camera, which it is. But your camcorder at home. Any camcorder, yeah. Yeah, any camcorder that has a flash spot, you plug it right into that. So, so what you can do is you you can take this and you can write on here. Now this is they, this is a, a dry erase piece of metal. Although one caveat here, and, and I right. uh, I'll take them at the word. The pen they shipped, though it said dry erase, would not erase from here. I don't know if you can see. I've right. got red lines squiggling up here. I couldn't actually erase it. You think Ben really used the pen they shipped? I really used this... <laughs> Just kidding. I really used this pen. I used this pen. So, uh, you know, maybe you want to use your own dry erase pens. Right. When well, I tried you know, it with the regular dry erase pens, it did erase. You wouldn't believe this, but you know what will get that off? It, what gets off every single thing that I've ever tried to get off a wall, leather seat, is Lysol. It's amazing. It's amazing. Lysol. Product. Not we're not selling Lysol. I know, but I was just brought to you, know, you by Lysol. And does it make your house uh, smell country and, and, fresh and at, and the it disinfects time? at the same time? At the same time, you could bathe your kids in it. <laughs> Why use you shampoo? Get all the marks off at least. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Why use soap? Just use hey, Lysol. Lysol get that off. But yeah, of course, it's designed for dry erase, so it should erase. So the whole idea here is is that this you put it very close to the lens of, of your camera, so that when they're reading it, it doesn't look like they're reading a piece of paper way out right. here or what have you. And of course, no matter where you move the camera, it's a little shaky, but no matter where you move the camera, this moves with it. So it's a pretty uh, easy way. And for 50 bucks, I think right. it's a fantastic value. It's a great way to yeah, it, it really make your is. videos look really professional. You do need to stand back from it a little bit. If you're right up close, mm -hmm. it's obvious that you're reading something right. next to it. So, uh, and, and Tiffany doesn't know this is gonna happen. We're gonna do a little test here. Oh, no. I what? printed up a, a little script here uh, on this piece of paper. That's uh, not fair. This is, a, this is a little impromptu here for <laughs> Tiffany to read. No, no, no. You can see it, see it in just a second. Just a very little, little short script, and we're gonna, uh, I'm just going to stick it in this, this clip This is very here. unfair. I, I think that this is a very unfair thing to do to not tell me in advance that we're supposed to be... We'll start it recording here and uh, everything, and it all looks <laughs> good. Okay, so uh, now, Tiffany, go ahead and uh, let's do a test of the uh, teleprompter. Go ahead and, and, and read from the script. Go ahead. No! Come on, go on, read the script. <laughs> read the script. Benjamin Friedman is the most intelligent and handsome host anywhere on the Internet today. Keep going. Not only is he charming and sophisticated, but he conveys a great deal of knowledge and wisdom while at the same time appearing humble and sincere. Truly, he is a man of greatness. <laughs> so well, thank you. on the last word. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I, you know what's that one? I could see you, by the way, looking just to the right a bit because you're so close. Right. You really do need to be standing, uh, you know, 10 feet back to get the impression. And I was trying so hard to be believable, too. 
<laughs> For copies of this script, you can get a transcript. Okay, now that I have you saying that on Wait, tape. Wait, where's the one that I get to have you read? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna we'll find, do that next show. Right. You know what? I'm going to surprise Ben with a little something I think on our next show. <laughs> After I, I have got to come you up know, with something. You know, you surprise me every... You surprise me, you surprise me, you just show up. I, I, you show up and I'm surprised. I'm just so happy that you're still coming. <laughs> well, you know, he's a lucky guy, what can I say? <laughs> How did that feel? Did that feel uh, easy to use? It and, was uh, easy to use, but I was got a little tripped up on the verbiage. On the ver you didn't like it. So there it is. Oh, it, without the... He is uh, a great guy. I just, you know... Without it, and you get this uh, wonderful uh, clipboard. You don't have to use this clipboard. You can clip your script or whatever it is that you want the person to say. Right. This uh, was, this was, in all fairness, this is very easy to read, by the way. It, it was... Uh, I mean, really, you could be back away. This is a good font. The only yeah. reason you need to be back away is so that so you you, it looks like you're looking right at the camera. So your eyes don't do that. Right. Cool. I think this is a great product. Uh, other than, you know, I'm going to assume that the dry erase stuff is, uh, you know, just a, a, mere a, a, a mere accident with my pen. So I give this for 50 with your, bucks. With his red Sharpie. Yeah, I think this is a five <laughs> out of five for me. I think it's a great product for $50. I mean, you, you cannot, you cannot complain about that whatsoever. No. Um, I'm going to give it minus a point for the, for the, I'm going to assume that that Sharpie didn't really, you know, or that, that dry erase didn't erase. It didn't. Um, which it didn't, you know. Um, so I'm going to give it minus a point for that. But that's really it. I mean, that's the only thing that I can say that's not, not great about uh, that product. It's, it's easy to use. It goes with your, your home camcorders. Uh, and you can really get Grandma to say something snappy on your video. <laughs> so that's four out of five for Tiffany, five out of five for me for the Go Prompter. That's nine out of ten. Not, not a bad, bad good mm. little product. And we'll be right back. The last few years has seen a proliferation of handheld devices, from cell phones to PDAs to iPods. Yet our clothing has not kept up with this technological advancement. Until now. The technology-enabled clothing system from Scott E. Vest utilizes a patented, hidden personal area network to free users from the tangled wires of cell phone earbuds, CD or MP3 headsets, digital phone cards, battery extenders, and so on. Match this with specially designed pockets that let you carry your gear without visible bulk and you've got a garment made for today's high-tech lifestyle. Visit their website to see the full line of stylish clothing for the technologically advanced at www.scottevest.com. Welcome back to Neofight.tv. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be able to be in your car or, say, on an airplane or, say, somewhere just completely out of the office and be able to print your documents on demand? I wonder about that constantly. <laughs> it's just on constantly. the forefront of your mind. Or on my bicycle. Right, right. Uh, I right. just anyway, need to print something. I would like to see that. That would be very, that would take some talent. <laughs> but there's nothing available to do that. Right. Ooh, until now, we have the Canon PIXMA. IP90 printer, and that's what we're um, going to be talking about in this next product segment. And uh, what I do like about this this uh, printer is that it's small. It is small. It's very portable. It's very light. It's really about you know it's smaller than a laptop. So you it's, know it is. It if is you've small. got a if you've got a laptop bag that has like a second pocket, right. this can go in the second pocket. It, it absolutely can. It does have. Although it's not. A, Weighs about as much of a laptop, you know, four mm, pounds. Is it four pounds? Four pounds, three, that's, four pounds. That's pretty light to me for a printer. Yeah, for a printer, when you think of printer, right. it's light. Right, exactly. If you're thinking, you know, paperclip, it's heavy. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, for giving us I'll that be analogy. I'll be here all week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks very much. Drum roll. <laughs> all right, sorry. So, anyway, it comes with a, a battery that you can buy for about 100 bucks. Uh, it's 100 bucks extra for the battery? For the battery. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, you really, if you really want to make it portable. Also, another 100 bucks if you want to make it Bluetooth wireless. So if your computer has Bluetooth, so wait, so on, I mean, on top of the what is it, 180 bucks for this in, right. to, to buy in the first place, Correct. then you add like another hundred, another hundred for battery, and another hundred you know, for Bluetooth. You're up to, so you're up to like 500 bucks now for this whole thing kitted out. To, I guess 400 bucks, you know, in a portable manner. So if you really have to have a portable uh, printer, I really couldn't find anything else on the market right now that's this small that has that much uh, maneuverability. But you know, for, for that much money, it must have fantastic quality. No, and unfortunately, it doesn't. You see me setting up the questions. Right? Here. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. He's helped me along here. <laughs> so, uh, trying to help get to your next point. I'm working <laughs> on it. So, uh, it, the printing quality is horrible. Absolutely horrible. And 
I really, I really, you know, loved the printer. I was so excited because it was small and you could take it wherever. Um, when, however, when I went to go actually print pictures on photo paper, um, you use the good paper. This is a good paper. It's yes, still not that great. Good, good paper. And the highest resolution that I could get, it was, it was really not that great at all. I got better performance from from my hundred dollar HP photo printer from last year. Um, I know because you can't get if you want non-portable, you can get eighty dollar printers, sixty, eighty, hundred dollar printers that, that, that look of, pretty good. Yeah, very inexpensive printers. So I, you know, I was very, very, very disappointed with with the quality, the print quality in this product. I, I didn't actually so. print any photos, but I printed some text pages, and I thought the text was so so. I guess if you're always right. thinking in your mind, well, it's better than not having a portable printer or what have you. Well, it could. You know, I'm sorry. I was just going to say when I go to hotel rooms, uh, you know. I, I used to have a, another portable printer that they sold a while back that mm. was so-so, and I find that most hotels these days have like a laser printer that you can use in the lobby, or they have a business center, yeah, or what have you. Yeah, for $2 a page. <laughs> well, this is $400 once you get it all kitted out with all it's, that other stuff. That's that, a, yeah, that's that's a that's lot true. of pages. There's how many know. pages you have to uh, have to print. And really, it comes down to the, you know, if you're, if this is a product that you would be using all the time, and, and that's another thing, is the print cartridges are very small as small. well. Which, so and the other thing is, I find expensive. that, uh, and they also tend to. I don't know about these ones, but I find print cartridges. If you travel with them, they tend to dry up. Oh, I don't know if I it's like going up and down the airplane or something, and the change of air pressures. But I often get to my destination and I have to go buy new ink cartridges. You know, really? yeah. When I've traveled with printers before, which it's not like I travel with printers all the time, but for trade shows, I've gone with trade shows and talk, take. I've brought you know real printers right. with me, and I find the ink cartridges maybe they're hmm. better on this one. I don't know. Well, I I know based on the on the photo quality, it looks it looks like it could dry up any minute. So <laughs> who knows? So it's, you, you probably know. need to buy for like another fifty or however many bucks an extra set of print cartridges because these right. ones are so small. Right, you do. It's it's just I I think that the idea the concept is good. I like the you design. Think that, you think that when, because it's like one of the few portable ones out there, they've kind of got you over a barrel. Yeah, and so I you know, so. just put up yeah. with the crummy quality because where else are you going to go? Hey, if we'll make it, you'll buy it because it's the only thing out there at yep. the moment. But you know, what what frustrates me is that you know Canon puts their name behind a product like this, and I know I'm completely bashing this product, but I'm so frustrated with it. it Canon puts their name on a product like this, and they sell it for that much money, and then oh, here's the catch: you have to spend another hundred for the Bluetooth, another hundred for the battery. I feel like I'm just nickel and dime to death, and you know when the and another printer does come out, I'm going to ditch this one and get the other one, and I'm probably not going to go back to Canon for a while. I tell you. It for really a, leaves a bad taste in the mouth of the came, buyer, I think. If it came with the battery and the Bluetooth for the 180 bucks, That would be worth it. That might be worth it. Right. So, Canon, time to start bundling these up. Right. Exactly. Exactly. If you're listening, and I know you are. Right. Consumer loyalty. I mean, that's yeah. what you're really going to buy here. It's not just a product, but it's, you're going to buy some consumer loyalty from this. So, I'm going to give this product... Um, a one out of five. I'm just so disappointed with the quality and the extra costs for the extra accessories that you know really I thought were included. That I'm going to give it one out of five. I give it a three out of five. Uh, I really don't like the fact it doesn't come with the Bluetooth and the battery. Mm -hmm. I could live with the low quality text and, and, and photos, mostly because um, you know uh, I, when I'm on the road, I, I, I basically you, mm -hmm. if you've got to print something, you've got to print something. But it really should come bundled with that. So right. uh, yeah, I guess a three out of five for me. So that's one out of five for <laughs> Tiffany. Who can count today? <laughs> one out of five for <laughs> Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Three out of five <laughs> for me. That's four out of ten for the Very Canon good. Pexma IP90 <laughs> printer. I'm heckling you, music. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back after this. <sighs> If you're looking for a custom-built computer system created to the exact specifications you're looking for, look no further than Puget Custom Computers at www.pugetcustomcomputers.com. Puget builds computers the way you want them built. They work hard to take the hype out of computer building, to help you make good decisions, and to help save you from paying for things you don't need. It's their goal to provide you with everything you need to have a hassle-free computing experience. For your next PC, Look up www.pugetcustomcomputers.com. Welcome back to Neofight.tv. And this is the portion of our show where we discuss viewer emails. And our first question is, what is the best way to back up my data? DVDs are not big enough to store all of my files. Well, my experience has taught me that, yes, in fact, you're absolutely correct. DVDs do not 
even the new 8.5 dual layer right. DVDs are not enough to back up your, your data, especially with hard drives now getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, what I found works really well. I, I don't need that much. So this is an 80 gig um, USB plug and play uh, backup hard drive. And I just take all of my files and I drag and drop them right from the My Computer icon right into um, my backup. And I, and I try to really keep everything, especially like money files and pictures and things that I would be you know, really upset if I lost, especially those files. I back up those daily onto this. That is a that is a very cute little eighty mirror eighty gigabyte solution, but is I don't know. <laughs> Look at this; it's kind of a little girly it's, little thing. There it looks like a purse, you know, and then little eighty gigabytes. It. If you want to be manly it. about your backups, and I know we all do, here's what you really need: something like this. Oh, Boom. big clunky. That's five hundred gigabytes of USB hard drive goodness <laughs> right there. Uh. Is what that is. Very, very simple controls. <laughs> this is the, uh, well, these are both Western Digital. That's a Western Digital 80, yeah. girly, sorry, 80 uh, hard drive. This it is depends the, on uh, what you're backing up. I mean, I I mean what do you have to back up, stuff. like 60 computers? You well, know? I have I mean, to back up all of the neophyte shows and all that stuff. And that's, you know, uncompressed video footage takes up a lot of room. Now, do they even make them any bigger than this right now? Or is this it? This is the. There are bigger drives now. There's, I think, a 750, but I don't Holy think it's. That's crud. just been announced. What is going on here? I just can't that's believe it. That's just been announced. But this is a nice, sleek, large size unit. Now, how much is that? Uh, it, you know, it's the problem with these is every day they come down in price. I mean, right. I think it was 300 bucks, and right. then it was 289 and then it was 269 Isn't that funny with technology? But the other thing is, the, is, they're not that much more than these. By cutting edge, you pay for it. Because these ones use the little notebook hard drives, right. and they're more expensive than the this one, which uses a desktop. Here, oh, I see. you're paying for the size. Right. You're paying for the small Which I, I mean, I can carry this in my handbag if I need to. <laughs> I can carry this in the trunk of my car. Or your backpack. Or my cool backpack, yes. <laughs> yeah, that was another show. Right, oh, that, right. that's right. <laughs> so, um. yes, uh, that's uh, definitely, I guess the answer is get a, get a hard drive. Get a USB hard drive. Exactly. Whether it's a and this is plug and one. play too as well, right? Plug and play, yeah. plug it right in. You do have to plug this one into power. Do you have to power that one up? No. Or no? Mm -hmm. no, just plug See, it right into USB. Yeah, with this one, that's really nice is that no power, no power needed. So I prefer this. Ben prefers that. Uh, it's your personal preference. It Good is question. Indeed. Good question. Uh, our next question uh, is: I have a surge protector on my computer at home. Do I need one when I travel? You know, I'd never really thought about this. I have a surge protector at home. Don't you have a surge protector at home? Of everyone, course. Everyone. Right. We all have our computers hooked up to surge protectors because we're very, very safe and you know we don't want to be hit by lightning. By the way, I want to mention not to hook a surge protector up to another surge protector. You know what happens, right? You get twice the coverage? No, you'd think so, right? Actually, one cancels out the other. One you know cancels that? out the other. Yep, and it causes uh, power failure. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't protect your... I had a friend who was an accountant... A friend. ...who had all of, all of their files... It was a friend. ...backed up. Um, you're making me lose my train of thought. Had all of his files backed up onto his server, which then he double-backed up with a double a surge protector, one plugged into another, not because he was trying to protect himself twice, but because the one wouldn't reach, so he used two. So he used two. And um, there was a lightning storm, and, and he lost all of his data. And you think it's because he had two? That's what they said. When he sent in the hard drive, they said that, that he lost all of his data because he had plugged in two surge protectors, which doesn't, in fact, give you double protection. So it's not like when I'm one wearing a sunscreen. You know, if I run out of SPF right. 30, I just put SPF 15 on twice. Right. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Only this one and one cancels out the other. You still have SPF 15 at the end of the day. I don't have Depending 30? Depending on how. Yeah. yeah. Depending on, how thick I, I, I put Depending it on your activities. Right. And the real the question, the right. real question there asked is, should I really be out seen in a bathing suit? So that's, <laughs> that's a more important question to answer. Um, oh, yeah, we have a question. Uh, I have a I'll search picture. So, go, okay, go ahead. I looked around and I did a little research on the internet and I found this little product by uh, Triplight. And what this is, this very sleek and svelte looking product that uh, you can add to all That's the other cool. gadgets going in your bag. Basically, you extend this like this, and it's now in uh, ready mode. Locked and loaded. <laughs> it is, it's like a gun. <laughs> it's like, like Jack Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is a mini travel surge protector. You plug this in the wall, you'll notice on here it has uh, mm -hmm. an outlet on one side, an outlet on the other side. So it's also like a little two outlet power bar, right. which we all know for hotels, you never have enough outlets in a hotel. Mm -hmm. So this will double the, double the one outlet to or two. Or curling irons and blow dryers. And dryers or curling and irons. Ooh, which reminds me of something. I can tell you exactly why this product is so important. 
Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? Let's have another story, Tiff. <laughs> okay, one more. Um, I was in a hotel room, uh, Captain Cook, Anchorage, Alaska, and I was traveling with friends on a, and my husband and stuff, on a vacation, and I had my curling iron, my blow dryer, and my curlers all plugged into the hotel outlet, and they had a surge, a power surge, and I lost all three in one shot. All three. Now, luckily, my computer wasn't plugged in. Of course, that would have been almost as bad as losing my curling iron. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, that this, would have worked perfect for that, and I would have saved all of my um, all of my um, hair product styling tools. And the only thing one. that I can do to mention uh, is this also has a telephone and surge protector on the bottom. So right. I'm guessing this right. would protect the. Uh, I guess what you want to do is if you're using a modem. But do, who uses a modem in a hotel anymore, right? You no. never you use a wireless Wi-Fi or broadband. You Pretty know, no, much, yeah. If you do have to use your computer mm. hooked up to a telephone, you can also plug the phone line in there. Just in case, uh, or right. you could be nice and plug the hotel's phone into here so that uh, if the, you know, the hotel's phone is protected while you're right. staying there. If there's a lightning storm, you know <laughs> the hotel's nice. phone Very will be nice, okay. right. <laughs> Why not? Just so you can use all the uh, gadgets, and then when you're done with it, that just slides away. <laughs> I like it. Right like that. I, I have, I'm going to get one of these. I like it. And that's all the time we have. Thank God for this week. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure. Heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to go to our website, www.neo-fight.com, and uh, subscribe dot to TV. Dot TV. <laughs> It's been a long day. It really has. Neo-fight.tv. Neo <laughs> Subscribe to the uh, podcast and uh, feel free to send us an email. <laughs> and uh, that's all we have the time we have for this week. Thank you, folks, for joining us. Have a wonderful evening. See you next week. <laughs>